So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and this week we're going to go over a couple comic book reviews. We have here, April 2017 edition, Batman Detective Comics Rise of the Batman, number one from DC Universe Rebirth. It is listed as Detective Comics Rise of the Batman, number one. <clears throat> so it, it came in a three-pack from Walmart of um, DC Universe Comics. So let's get started. So we open up with what appears to be uh, Red Robin, Orphan, Spoiler, and a humanized Clayface um, facing off against a horde of Jokers. But what it actually is, is a training scenario inside the uh, Belfry uh, using Clayface's uh, own material to create the uh, Jokers. Um, Batwoman is watching. Batman does not want this new team taken to the streets until he feels they're ready. So Bat, it's Batwoman's job to run them through the ringer. And she basically maxes out this new training facility, um, testing them. Um, and yes, Clayface is a hero now, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Red Robin, Tim Drake, meets up with Batman, talks to him about how he doesn't think the team is ready and all this other stuff and how Azrael John Paul Valley is in a uh, coma or not really a coma but um, just very very injured from an attack and uh, Batman's like you know Red Robin you or you know Tim yeah you may have thought you were you always said that you weren't a Robin but that's why I put you in this new uniform, because to me, you were always a Robin. And that's not a bad thing. And of course, Leslie Thompson, Thompson Tompkins, sorry, is taking care of John Paul Valley. Um, see Tim and Stephanie Brown uh, trying to share a night together in uh, her apartment. Orphan comes in. Um, even though Batman set her up with her own place, she kind of much rather prefers staying with people. So uh, Stephanie asks her for the night, to her, uh, for the apartment to herself for the night, so she can have some time alone. Catherine Kane with her father, um, again discussing about Bruce Wayne and Batman because they both know his identity and they're related, they're cousins. Um, Catherine Kane's father was. Uh, Martha Wayne's brother, Batman then becomes attacked by a group of uh, soldiers in bat-stylized uniforms. So this is part one of Rise of the Batman. It looks pretty interesting. I'll give this story probably a 7 out of 10. Moving on, we have Batman Trinity number one from DC Universe Rebirth and Batman. And like I said, it is listed as Batman Trinity number one from April 2017. This shows the first time Batman and Wonder Woman actually have a sit down with the pre-New 52 Superman. Lois Lane invites them uh, to dinner. And of course, you know, Batman and Wonder Woman agree because they need to they need to find out who this new Superman is. And of course, Wonder Woman brings a board to dinner. They take off their costumes and they're dressed up, you know, in regular, ordinary uh, dress clothing. And young Jonathan, um, he goes to answer the door, but before he opens it, he uses his x ray vision to see who it is. And he peers through their disguise or their clothing to see. A bat symbol and Wonder Woman's bracelets, as well as a boar. <laughs> He's a little startled by this. 
And about that time, Superman's arriving home. And upon using his X-ray vision, he act, uh, Jonathan accidentally uses his heat vision to blast Bruce all the way back to the barn. And Diana has to deflect with her bracers. Uh, we do see that Clark has to give Bruce one of his flannel shirts to since Jonathan kind of destroyed Bruce's dress shirt. And Bruce just looks extremely uncomfortable. And uh, Clark is just like, don't let him intimidate you, John. Believe me, Bruce has worn worse things than plaid. And as much as he talks about working alone, I've always associated Batman with a Robin. I don't necessarily agree with dragging a child into the line of fire, but I'll be honest, Bruce. But I'll be honest, Bruce. When Dick's identity was in danger of being found out after he broke his arm, you really stepped up to the plate in protecting him. Wearing a rainbow suit to draw attention away from Robin? Brilliant. When Dick told me the story, I just about lost it. I don't think I've ever laughed so hard. And Bruce is just like, I have no recollection of this. Basically, Clark is talking about the pre-New 52 Batman. Um, but I'm sure that this Batman has also done similar things. And Lois, the entire time, she's kind of quiet and offset by Wonder Woman. Because Wonder Woman and the New 52 Superman were an item. So Lois, she's kind of... She knows what... Wonder Woman is feeling because before uh, Clark and Lois got married, they were engaged. And at the time of their en uh, engagement, Superman was killed by Doomsday. So she knows exactly what she's feeling. Then we see a little heart-to-heart -heart with Clark and Bruce and a heart-to-heart -heart with uh, Diana and Lois. They realize that, uh, you know, maybe they could become friends and, you know, it... Pretty good read. Not a lot of action in it, but there doesn't always need to be action in these stories. I'll give this, um, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. A really good read. Up next, we've got Sinestro, number one, one shot. The New 52 Futures End. In this, it's set several years in the future. Um, a universal martial force has arrested Sinestro and brought him to this prison planet to serve life in uh serve a life sentence no power ring his head has been shaved his mustache has been shaved off and they're they have no names no numbers they're just known as inmates here he and a former indigo lantern develop a plan um where the indigo lantern develops him a homemade yellow power ring it's more or less just like finger armor that gives him uh, a lower amount of power of the uh, emotion fear. And it's not going to last him long, but long enough to get them away. And they travel to New Cargar, where Sinestro had set up his Sinestro core. And apparently after Sinestro was captured... Uh, the Parallax Entity broke free from the planet's core and destroyed everybody. So Sinestro goes, Sinestro goes there to uh, get Lisa Drax's uh, skull. And with that skull, he destroys it, opening up a black power ring. He states that, uh, but only one can build my army once more. Only one will help me reclaim my name. Only one shall be known from this day forward as the color of the new Sinestro Corps. So Sinestro pretty much takes over the Black Lanterns and turns them into his new Sinestro Corps. Uh, like I said, this was a one-shot. Future's End, it takes place several years in the future. An alternate future, I believe, um, from before Convergence ha occurred. Uh, so this is no longer... Uh, continuity um it's pretty much just an elseworlds title now i guess i'll give that i'll give it a uh, 7 out of 10 as well up next we've got 
Grayson, New 52, Future's End, one shot, number one. Uh, we open up the story with Grayson being hung to death. And then we get a series of flashbacks throughout the rest of the story. Um, how him and uh, Helena fell in love. And uh, how he managed to break ropes. And what basically... Everything that led to the point of him being hung. He ended up killing KG Beast. Which is revealed that Batman didn't kill him. Uh, as was thought um, in an earlier story. Uh, he is now the new president of Your Russia, which, because of Apocalypse invading from Earth 2, all of Europe gave or authorized um, emergency power to KG Beast uh, to rule temporarily in order to defeat Darkseid. Uh, he did not relinquish his power as originally thought he would. Similar to Star Wars, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, and there's just a, a number of events which led to Spiral working for the Ru your, your Russian government. And then Grayson eventually killing KG Beast. And then uh, being hung. We get a nice shot in this of Dick Grayson as Robin. Completely different uniform than uh, pre-New 52 style. But this is the style of the uh, New 52. So it, it really works. I really like it. Um... It doesn't tell us whether or not he uh, he survives and manages to escape. It's kind of hinted at that he's going to use acid that was used on his parents' wires. By, that was used on their wires by Tony Zuko uh, to escape. Like this. Uh, but... It doesn't actually reveal if he does escape or not. Kind of slow moving. I wish they would have written it in a different manner. I'll give it... I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It could have been better if they would have... Uh, told the story rather than in reverse in actual order. Beginning with the last flashback... Of... The Graysons being killed, then moving up to through Dick and Bruce, uh, or Bruce giving Dick the acid that Tony Zuko used, and Dick as Robin. If they would have did it in that way, it would have probably been a better story. But it it just it read backwards. It was interesting though. Like I said, five out of ten. Up next, we've got. Batman, Superman, the final days of Superman, number five. Um, the Trinity go to China, where they are met by the... Um, let me find it. The Great Ten, um, who are basically China's version of the Justice League. Um, the Trinity go to China in order to find this uh, false Superman... Um, which shows right here. Um, they end up discovering China's version of Superman being created um, by a scientist who siphoned off excess uh, energy released by Superman during his supernovas. Uh, it's very interesting. The two teams team up briefly and then... Uh, the Great Ten send the Trinity on their way because China's a closed state and, you know, the Trinity don't want an international incident. Um, but it was a good read. I believe this was the first appearance of the, uh, the Super Hyphen Man, which is now part of DC Rebirth. Um, but I'll have to double check on that. Uh, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Up next, we have... Batman Eternal. 
This is Batman number 22. Uh, it starts off with uh, Alfred's daughter trying to get a hold of Bruce. Uh, someone broke in and uh, injected something directly into Alfred's brain. Um, and he's been taken to the hospital and it's not looking good. Bruce is try or Batman's trying to stop the architect from destroying a building, killing hundreds of people in the process. Um, and then Alfred's daughter remembers what Alfred told her right before, uh, he went unconscious. He said, uh, grandfather clock and he said he said grandfather clock 1048 she's like i don't understand and then she sees the grandfather clock son of a bitch and then she discovers the bat cave of course she has to tell bruce what happened to her father and he's astonished she's like he needs you now but batman can't go now he's got to stop the architect which is very disappointing to Alfred's daughter, um, who he finally calls Penny Two. Uh, Pen, uh, Alfred was Penny One. That was his code name. He finally convinces her to help him. Once he's able to stop the architect, that's when he's going to go try and help Alfred because that's what Alfred would want him to do. Uh, it is revealed that the architect is actually working for Hush. So not a bad read. Um, but overall, not a bad read. Let's see, yeah, it's Batman Eternal number 22. Came out in November of 2014. This is one of those comics that came in the Walmart 3-pack. Um, I kind of liked it. Um, it was a nice read. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Pretty decent. So that does it for this week's comic book review. Um, I will be back with another review from... The Ghostbusters Omnibus, Volume 1. And it is going to be a review of Ghostbusters, The Other Side, from IDW Publishing. So uh, make sure you come back and uh, check that out. So once again, the comics for this week were Batman Eternal number 22... Batman Superman number 32, The Final Days of Superman number 5, New 52 Futures and Grayson one shot, New 52 Futures and Sinestro one shot, Batman Trinity number 1, and Rise of the Batman number 1. Take care, guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.